Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss how to wear neutrals together so you stand out from the crowd in a subtle yet sophisticated way. Most outfits I put together contain at least one neutral, usually a white of a shirt, for example, but combining only neutrals in one outfit can sometimes be a bit more challenging because you don't want areas that all look the same. You want to provide enough contrast, yet still keep that tonal range very limited. Neutrals are very popular because they're very easy to combine with other colors such as red, navy, or black. Yet, when just combined on their own, it's a little more tricky. You've probably seen many celebrities pulling off monochromatic looks, and that means a look containing all of the same color. I always think of Christian Bale at the Oscars. It seems like that's what he's always doing, and he always looks bad. So how do you do it in a way that makes you look dapper? Before we answer the question, we have to look at why we should wear all neutrals in the first place. The good thing is, chances are you already own a bunch of neutrals in your wardrobe because they're just a staple of every man's wardrobe. You probably have those chinos. They are in khaki, which is a neutral. You probably already have white or off-white shirts, another neutral. Maybe you have solid brown shoes in your wardrobe, another neutral. These colors are classy because they never go out of style. You can wear them now or 10 years from now and they won't be anything new. They're also not bright and bold, but rather mellow. Now, that being said, you can still make a statement out of it. The navy suitor blazer with a white shirt is very pedestrian. On the other hand, wearing this gray jacket with an off-white or ivory pair of pants combines two neutral colors, yet it really stands out and pops. So when I talk about neutrals, what exactly do I mean by that? It is a color that works well with other colors that are stronger and contrasting, yet it doesn't really draw the attention to itself. They help tone down other colors and make them stand out, and they're basically grouped in cool colors and warm neutral colors. The warm neutrals include tan, taupe, beige, ivory, khaki, or any shade of brown under the sun. Cool neutrals, on the other hand, are shades of black and gray, as well as white. Sometimes you also find people who expand that look a little bit and include tones of navy and blue, as well as olive green. However, strictly speaking, they're not neutrals. That being said, they pair quite well with neutrals. On the other hand, just think of denim for a moment. It has become so prevalent and the blue is so standardized that I think it can definitely be called a neutral color. So how do you wear neutrals together? First of all, start with something that is close to your skin tone. And how you do that is really step-by-step -step explained in this video here. Once you've chosen the right colors, you simply combine them. The goal is to have a certain amount of contrast between your items, otherwise it just all blends in together. It's too monochromatic and boring. For example, in this outfit, I'm pairing a tan brown turtleneck sweater with a dark brown and ivory houndstooth suit. Now, apart from the color, you can also see there's a difference in texture. The suit is a slight flannel, but the knit of the sweater is a lot more hairy and it has a pretty much uniform color, but a fussy finish when you touch it, that helps to provide the right amount of contrast. The pocket square, on the other hand, picks up the ivory of the houndstooth and combines it with the brown of the sweater using a different pattern once again. You can see I have this solid neutral for my sweater. I have the houndstooth, which is a small pattern, paired by with a bigger pattern, which is the paisley. That's how you want to combine a neutral. You'll have different canvases, you have patterns, and you have them in different sizes. That way it's visually interesting, yet the color palette is so neutral that it's all very harmonious. Whenever neutrals are too close in color, everything looks washed out. For example, if I wore this jacket with a gray turtleneck sweater, it would simply look boring. At the same time, if I wear the same turtleneck sweater, with let's say a charcoal flannel, you can see there's a certain amount of contrast, yet it looks very sophisticated. 
Now, the further you move away from your face, the easier it gets to play with other neutrals, simply because your face has that skin tone right next to it, and it's more clashing than if you have a different pair of shoes or a pair of pants, for example. So with this ensemble, I opted for a brown pair of suede boots. Again, they have a different texture that is matte and works with the overall softer and fussy textures in this outfit. They are also contrasting enough. They're in the brown family, yet they're not quite the exact shade of brown as my sweater. Could I have worn the exact same brown? Absolutely. But sometimes it's hard to coordinate the color of your shoe exactly to your sweater or your shirt. On the other hand, if I would have worn a gray pair of boots, everything would have looked more washed out and it would not have been as good as this pair of brown boots. If you don't want to wear a sweater, a great way to implement a neutral is to have a waistcoat in a buff color or kind of a tan color. If you combine it with a white or off-white shirt and a tie, in a, let's say, brown grenadine, such as this one from Ford Belvedere, it's very easy to create a harmonious outfit that is warm, that works during the colder months of the year, but that is not boring. In my opinion, one of the most underrated neutral colors is ivory for pants, simply because it makes a bolder statement, and admittedly, it stains more easily, but as a gentleman of taste, wearing it with a brown sport coat, whether it's something like this houndstooth jacket here of this suit, or something more of a medium tobacco brown herringbone, or even a kind of charcoal brown, it always works. You can even wear it with a navy blazer, or you can wear it with a charcoal flannel jacket. It always works, it always provides a lot of contrast, and it looks particularly handsome. Since brown shoes are a staple of every gentleman's wardrobe today, it's very easy to combine everything together. If you feel like your all neutral outfit needs a pop of something special, but you don't wanna add a really strong color such as red or green or yellow, I suggest you simply opt for a boutonniere. My favorite is the Edelweiss because it's off-white, it is slightly textured like a velvet on top, so it's very soft, but it's a perfect neutral accessory that makes you stand out from the crowd because likely no one else in the room is going to wear it. And when it comes to neutrals, you can also wear them in the summer. You can have a kind of gray polo shirt with a darker gray pair of shorts and some black sneakers, for example, if that's your style. Alternatively, you can have summer pants such as seersucker, pair them maybe with a pair of light brown or tan shoes and a polo shirt in a brown, for example. Or, of course, you wear a jacket in any form of brown tone with a slightly brown shirt or an ivory shirt and you combine it with some brown neckwear or a brown pocket square. To see more pictures and get more outfit ideas, please head over to our website and in today's outfit, I'm wearing an all neutral combination consisting of a houndstooth suit in chocolate black with ivory paired with a tan brown turtleneck sweater from Uniqlo. It's 100% merino wool and it's rather inexpensive. I'm wearing an undershirt underneath, otherwise it would be too scratchy on my skin. The pocket square is from Fort Belvedere. It is off-white that picks up the color of the jacket and paisley in brown that picks up the tone of the sweater. My shoes are suede boots, kind of chukka boots, and they're a little stronger in color, but since they're more away from my face, they still work overall. For a ring, I went with a citrine in gold because that underlines the warm colors I'm incorporating in my outfit otherwise.